How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be looking at 12 fragrances that are going to be worth every single cent of the 20 or so dollars that you're going to pick these up for. A lot of these you can find at the rack stores so if you're creative and you like a bit of a treasure hunt, a little bit of a challenge, go look at your TJ Maxx, your Ross, or your Marshalls around you locally and see if you can find some of these fragrances because there are some hidden gems in here and you are going to be smelling so, so much better than the 15 or 20 dollars that you're going to spend for some of these so stick around make yourself comfortable and let's jump right in Welcome everyone to the channel. I'm Eli and it's great to have you. First up is Fanboy and Chum Chum Eau de Toilette. I'm just kidding. This is one of the weirdest, most obscure fragrances that I have in my collection, I think. And I remember I got this one for an April Fool's Day video and did a whole in-depth review gushing about how amazing this stuff is. So, oh, that stuff is dumb. So starting first off, we are going to be going with a clone fragrance. And this one is from the house of Milestone. This fragrance house is a Middle Eastern fragrance house that's been popping up at a lot of the rack stores. And I got this one for $15. So if you look for these Tom Ford style fragrance bottles, the black one is going to be ombre leather. Now this one smells like a cross between ombre leather by Tom Ford and also Louis Vuitton's ombre nomad. And I feel like it leans a little bit more towards the ombre nomad because it's very leathery, it's dark. It's got a nice dense, heavy cloud with it. And it just smells so luxurious and expensive. Like you smell like a really nice leather handbag or something or like a leather jacket and it has a nice muskiness especially in the air but it's got a little bit of an animalistic edge to it that just gives it an energy and just a really expensive quality to it i feel like it also has some agar wood in here and it does have a pressurized atomizer so for 15 dollars, you cannot go wrong and that one is milestones ombre leather Next up, if you're on the hunt for a really nice Crete Aventus alternative for about $15, check out this one by Camara Perfumes. This one is Camara Perfumes El Dorado Avenue. Now, when you look at the bottle, you may see it and think eh, it's probably one of those cheap, you know, $15 fragrances that might not be so much, but this stuff smells so, so freaking good. The bergamot in here is so refreshing. It's crisp and it has a nice fruitiness in it, and it's not quite as smoky or incensey as some of the batches of Creed Aventus. So if you like fruity, just uplifting fresh batches of Creed Aventus with some of that nice birch and kind of smoke in there with some of that really nice ambergris and musks, this is gonna do it really, really nice at about that $15 mark. Plus this one goes to about the eight hour mark. So really you're getting a lot of longevity and a high quality smelling fragrance for about $15. And it's one of the best smelling Creed Aventus twists or clones that I've smelled in a long time. So definitely check this one out. And that one is El Dorado Avenue by Camara Perfumes. Next up, if you see this tall red bottle that looks very similar to the Mancera bottles, then pick up Man... I almost said Mancera. Then pick up Monarch's Red Tobacco Vanilla. This stuff is incredible and has a really masculine yet floral tobacco blossom and like kind of tobacco leaf, but it smells very vanillic and it's not going to be as dense or as heavy as the original Red Tobacco. Now that stuff is a beast and this is a beast in itself, but once you let it sit for about a month or so, it'll calm down a little bit, but you know, maybe still only wear about one to two sprays of this because some people have said that it's really strong and it's a bit headache inducing first couple times that they try it but at least since i've owned it it's kind of mellowed down a little bit and it still packs a hell of a punch you have a really nice leather and just sweet warmth to this one so it's going to smell very ambery and very warm so it's definitely something for somebody who likes a dense kind of strong powerhouse fragrance and again this one 14.99 a really, really good alternative to Mancera's Red Tobacco, and that one is Monarch Red Tobacco Vanilla. Next up is a cheapie that's been flying under the radar a little bit lately, and this is Sapil's Bound. So this is going to be a vanilla, leathery, slightly oody fragrance. And this actually comes from the same house that does Swiss Arabian. So Swiss Arabian owns Sapil. Really, really nice. It's like a vanillic, nutty tonka with a nice almond that I'm kind of picking up from this. So it smells very close to Armani Code Profumo with just a little bit of a twist in there, but for the $15 mark, it smells really, really good and it lasts a heck of a long time. 
Just that classic Armani code sweetness with a little bit of an updated muskiness and some nuttiness. A little bit of an animalistic musky tone, but honestly, this stuff is really good. And that one is Sapil Bound. Next up is one of my first Latafa fragrances that I ever got in my collection. And this, I've got a little soft spot in my heart for this stuff. And I've been just grabbing this like crazy, especially in the cooler weather. And this one is Latafa's Musa Mom. Doesn't this bottle look way more expensive than it actually is? I think it's cool. There is something so incredible about this DNA that really just keeps me coming back, sniffing the atomizer and just spraying the heck out of this whenever it gets cold. It's got a very exotic smelling saffron, but it's not too synthetic or rubbery smelling. And it also has a nice bit of Akigala wood and some really, really nice resins in here. So it's gonna be a little bit floral and a little bit funky. So it does have a bitter citrus in here, almost like some hops or something. So it's boozy, but at the same time, it's very, smoky. It's got some incense and it just smells like a nice smoky citrus combined with a beautiful resinous kind of leathery saffron. It is incredible, incredible stuff. This isn't going to be for the faint of heart and it can smell slightly synthetic, but you kind of have to be a fan of those smoky resinous fragrances. But I still think it's definitely worth picking up for the $20 or so. And if you don't like it, you can always give it to somebody else. This is a really cool one to take a chance on because you might just be surprised at how amazing it smells. And that one is Latafa's Musimam with the really cool snake on the cap. Next up is from a very affordable fragrance house that has some okay-ish fragrances, but this one is actually one of my favorites from their offerings. And this one is from Sergio Tercini, and this one is Pacific Blue. Now this basically smells like a cross between Davidoff Cool Water and Bleu de Chanel. So it's gonna be that really nice, sweet, citrusy fragrance with a beautiful, fruitiness and it's going to smell very aquatic green and a little bit oceanic. It's got a really refreshing green mandarin up top and you also have some just mineralic oceanic notes but it really just does smell incredible. Not going to be the most photorealistic or expensive smelling fragrance by any means. It does smell kind of synthetic but if you want a really nice mass pleasing sporty cheapy that you could just spray on before you know you go to the gym or you go run errands wash your car this is a good weekend fragrance or just go exploring with friends. So if you're a fan of the Davidoff Cool Water or Blood of Chanel or something like even Polo Blue, you know, just those really nice aquatic blue fragrances. And this basically takes all of that and wraps it into a nice bottle that looks really similar to the uh, Versace Eros bottle. It smells nothing like it. <laughs> And that one is Pacific Blue by Sergio Ticini. Ah, this next fragrance I am such a huge fan of. And it's been sitting on my shelf for a couple seasons now because I got it in the fall, but it's finally time to pull this out because it's very aquatic and it's gonna be perfect for this summertime weather coming up. This is from the Velar series from Paris Corner and Amir. And this one is a chaos in the ocean. So this is going to be a really pleasing, easy to wear twist on Orto Parisi's Mega Mare. So this stuff adds a little bit of Calione and Hedion, so it's going to be a little bit more floral, but not as incense or Middle Eastern smelling as something like Nabil's Ocean. And actually, out of the clones that I've smelled, this one I actually prefer. It's been sitting on my shelf and it just smells so incredible. Just a crisp, mouth watering, fruity vibe. And it also smells really good with some of that Ambrox in here. So, really, it's going to smell modern and really, really unique, unlike a lot of stuff out there on the market. All for about the $20 to $25 mark. So, it might be a little bit more than $20 but it is still worth mentioning. And that one is a chaos in the ocean. Dang, that just keeps getting better and better. So we talked a lot about Middle Eastern fragrances and this one is from a designer. This is from Zara and this one is going to be black tag. So not black tag intense, it's just gonna be black tag. And I actually got this one in a double pack for $20 with this in the intense. So really it worked out to about $10 for this 100 ml bottle. Beautiful creamy muskiness and some bergamot in here. This is gonna be perfect for anybody who loves white musky fragrances with a little bit of fruitiness. And honestly, it reminds me a lot of Initio's Musk Therapy. It's not going to be a direct clone or anything, but it just reminds me of aspects of that because it has some bergamot, it's got some vetiver, musk, pepper, and vanilla in here. So it's gonna be sweet, creamy, and musky and just perfect for anybody. It's extremely unisex. Women can pull this off and I love wearing this out of the shower or after a long stressful day because it just puts me at ease. What can I say? Yeah, it just smells like soft lotioned skin with a really, 
really pleasing muskiness. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to spend your 10 or 20 bucks. And that one is Zara's Black Tag. This next one is going to be a wonderful take and twist on Azaro's Wanted. That one's already pretty affordable as it is, but this one is about $13, as you can see, $12.99 from TJ Maxx. So be on the hunt for these tall English laundry bottles because they are some fire, fire fragrances. This has a crisp apple and some citrusy fruitiness. You have some lavender in here that makes it smell a tiny, tiny bit medicinal, but honestly, the tonka and some of the cardamom and other beautiful, beautiful notes in here, some of the clove, it just makes it smell so expensive smelling and very inviting and it just smells like everything's gonna be okay. You also have some ginger, some amber and green notes in here, but really that lavender and the apple are perfect in this and it just smells like a super easy to wear fragrance. You can pick this up anytime the weather is under maybe 70 degrees or something, but really this stuff is magic. Plus you get this really cool matte bottle and this kind of gold flake on the front for 13 bucks. And honestly, you can still pick it up for about 30 or $40 online. And I still think it's worth picking up because it's a really good fragrance. But if you can get it for $15, you're gonna be saving so much money and smelling way more expensive. And that one is English Laundry's Crown. Our next fragrance, I actually did a full review up here and you can check it out. A lot of these I actually have covered. So if you check out the channel, you can see a little bit more of an in-depth review, but this one is Milestone Perfumes Forever Paradise. And I am so shocked at how long this stuff lasts. Like seriously, it is a 12 plus hour fragrance and it is almost impossible to get off your skin. I had to scrub it off. And yet even after a shower, I could still smell that beautiful soapy muskiness on my arm. And it is not playing around, I swear. <laughs> Again, this one is Forever Paradise and it is such a beautiful musky fragrance. It's got a pressurized atomizer and it smells like elegance. It smells like clean linens. You have some nice delicate floral you can have some white jasmine, bergamot, and some cypress, but really it just smells uplifting. It's soapy, it's clean, and it is a perfect women's fragrance. And I have worn it many times out of the shower. And, you know, you spray it in your hair and it just smells like a luxury shampoo or some nice hair care products. And honestly, some of them smell really good. And sometimes you just wanna smell like that. And this is going to be the perfect way to get that luxurious hair care product smell for about the 18 or $17. And that one is Milestone Forever Paradise. This next one is going to be perfect for if you're going to the coast and it's a little bit cool outside or again for the kind of fall weather, but I still wanted to include it on this list because it is a wonderful fragrance for $20. So really anytime you watch this video, these are gonna be good. This one is Latafa's Amir Al Oud Intense. And this bottle is amazing. It's a tall 100 ml bottle and you get so much fragrance juice in here and it lasts an eternity. So this stuff smells very similar to Maison Margiela's By the Fireplace, but it does it with a little bit more of a sweet, incense -y Middle Eastern twist. You get this really cool smoky burnt leaves and burnt marshmallow accord. So it smells a little bit sugary. It's sweet, it's gourmand, but it's also very woodsy. It's masculine while still smelling very sweet. You also got a lot of musk and some spices in here. So it's gonna smell very warm and very musky and it is it is just incredible and it lasts well over the 10 to 12 hour mark and you're not going to regret getting this one and that one is Latafa's Amir Al Oud Intense and last but not least is a super underrated cheapy it's 15 or so dollars and this one is from Monotheme Venetia I haven't really heard a whole lot about this fragrance brand and I have seen a lot of fragrances pop up. They have some oud fragrances, some really classic Aqua de Colonia style fragrances, but this one is Aqua Marina. This one also has a bit of an aromatherapy quality to it because you have some rosemary, you have some bay leaf, sage, some cedar, and also some aquatic notes with some lime and citrus. So it's gonna smell very classic, like a men's barbershop style fragrance. It's gonna smell a little bit fougier from the rosemary and some of those citruses, but again, this stuff is just so much more expensive smelling than it actually is. There's also a little bit of a salt and pepper accord in here, at least to my nose. So it smells a little bit sporty, a little bit musky, but it really just does smell expensive, especially from the rosemary and some of those nice fougier notes. So a really, really affordable, classic Italian men's fougier style fragrance. It's a little bit soapy, but super masculine and a little bit more mature than some of the other fragrances on this list. But honestly, anybody can wear this and smell amazing. And that one, is 
this mono-themed Venetia's Aqua Marina. So there you have it, 12 fragrances that you can pick up for $20. Maybe you have a 20 or some leftover gift card money laying around. So really you can't go wrong with any of these fragrances. And let me know down in the comments if you have any recommendations under or around that $20 mark, because I love recommending these cheapies, and just discovering all of these little hidden gems. That does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. I'm Eli with Common Sense and until the next time, bye-bye. A fanboy and chum chum. <laughs> Aqua Marina. I'm gonna pretend I didn't just throw these bottles into each other. <laughs>